Well, it was called Front Avenue. Now it's NATO Parkway, the scenic road next to Portland's Waterfront Park and the Willamette River. So who was Bill NATO and why did they name this street after him? It's an amazing story and a big part of where we live. Most say Bill NATO was a visionary. I guess dreamer and a, and someone who likes to see something accomplished, whether I do it or the city does it. Bill Nato and his brother Sam built an empire in what's now Portland's Old Town. From the 60s through the 80s and into the 90s, they bought and renovated more than 20 historic buildings, including Import Plaza, the Galleria, where City Target is now, Albers Mill, and Montgomery Park. They started Norcrest China and the Made in Oregon stores. And Bill Nato was an early advocate for Portland Light Rail. I'm humbled and I am very proud of what uh, my family has done. Against all odds, after Pearl Harbor, Japanese Americans were excluded from within 200 miles of the Oregon coast during World War II. The Nato family was forced to relocate to Utah. Was he ever bitter about that? I think it made him driven. And more patriotic. NATO served in the U.S. military before returning to Portland in 1952. So our loyalty is over here, not to Japan. Front Avenue was renamed NATO Parkway in June 1996, just a week after Bill NATO died of cancer. Most of his businesses were nearby. It was just meant to be. And the Japanese American Historical Plaza, that's at the north end of Tom McCall Waterfront Park. That was another one of Bill Nato's visions. It's next to the Bill Nato Memorial Fountain and the Saturday Market, which Bill Nato helped start. Now, that plaza also includes uh, the Bill of Rights uh, mm -hmm. etched into the stone, which Bill Nato insisted on so people would be reminded of the American dream. So it's cool. so great hearing yeah. wh why streets are called what they are and, mm -hmm. and what the background is. Because we drive these roads every day and yeah. often we don't know. Yeah, yeah and uh, Bill Nato is relatively recent history. I mm -hmm. got a chance to interview him a few times uh, before he died as a reporter. So uh, he, he was very simple. He was like, we have a project. We need to get it done. How do we get it done? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he did a lot, and too. he did a lot. Wow, yeah, yeah very yeah. interesting.